Hey guys, um, it's Robert, and for this video I'm going to show you um, how to get started making ASMR videos. Um, I know there's a lot of new people coming and discovering the ASMR community. Uh, maybe you saw it on, um, maybe you heard it on This American Life or, or something like that, or you read about it somewhere and you're interested in trying to start making ASMR videos, but you don't really know how. Uh, maybe you're worried that you don't have the right equipment or that you don't have the right voice for it or you don't know exactly how to do them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just the very basics of um, how you can use what you have now to get started making ASMR videos. Um, so I figure the best way to start with this is to um, kind of assume that a lot of you guys, and I apologize if this isn't true, you could definitely do this other ways, but I figure that a lot of you guys probably have uh, camera phones, like smartphones, like the iPhone or things like that. Um, a lot of my videos I use this right here, just my iPhone. Um, the iPhone is a really great tool for making ASMR videos. It has a, a forward-facing camera and a backward-facing camera, which is really, really helpful. Um, it also has a really good microphone and stuff like that. But um, Android phones or um, pretty much any smartphone would really be a, an easy way to start making ASMR videos. And so I want to show you um, kind of how I got started making my first ones. And a little disclaimer here, you know, I'm no expert in making ASMR videos. I've been doing this for just a few months, but I've made like like 90 videos or something like that, 90 something videos. So I made quite a few of them. Um, but again, I'm not the best. I'm no expert. These are just some thoughts that I have based on my experiences. So, um, First thing that you might need is a tripod. Um, tripods are very, very easy to find and very affordable. I bought this one on Amazon. I just went in Amazon and I searched a uh, like camera tripod. This thing cost me like five bucks or something like that. It was hardly any money. It was like five dollars. Um, it's a really basic one. It's not the best. It has, you know, um, got this action. level here but it's really basic you just buy it for a little bit of money and um, it's like five bucks something like that and you're ready to go once you get it so um, a little feet So, when you get your tripod, you'll notice that it has a little clamp here at the top. This is what goes into the bottom of your camera or whatever you're putting in there. It screws in there like this. Um, so, the next thing that you would need is a way to get your phone to somehow stick to that, right? That's where this comes in. I got this for, again, like $3 on Amazon. If you just go on Amazon and search for iPhone or whatever your phone model is, tripod stand or tripod clamp, you'll be able to find it. So just search iPod, you know, tripod, iPhone, tripod can't, <laughs> wow, iPhone, tripod clamp or something like that, and you'll be able to find it. So, it has a space for your phone in here, it fits nicely in there, and it has the threading on the bottom here for your clamp, or your, for your, uh, whatever this is called. So you would put it in, like that, and then there's a little screw down here, just screw it in by hand. ready to be uh, put back into the tripod. Like 
It's a little being a little pain right now though. Flip it the other way so you can see. Oops. There we go. There's you guys right there. So this way you could see what you're doing. But yeah, that's that's a real basic um, setup if you wanted to start doing uh, ASMR videos with your phone. Um, what I wanted to do next is actually show you what it looks like from the third person perspective actually making some of these videos. So I'll do a series of short example videos to show you some of the things that you can do, just some basic ideas of ASMR videos, and then I'll actually play the videos back that I capture so you can see what it looks like from the camera's perspective. Um, there's a couple things that I think um, are worth mentioning in terms of just being mindful of. Um, one of them is, depending on what type of video you're doing, you might want to be more or less aware of where the camera is. So if you're using a camera like the one right here that I'm using, my Canon, it has like four little dots around where the, can where the microphone is. So I can tell exactly where it is. So if I'm getting very close to that, I'm at risk of, um, you know, I need to be careful not to be too loud to make any really sharp noises by it. Um, and then again, I have to realize that if I'm, you know, crinkling something close to the microphone and I move to the other side, it'll be less audible from that side. Um, in the iPhones, they're um, right next to the microphone, or they're right next to the um, the lens. So you can see the microphone little hole right here. So just be aware of where that is. So if you're doing any type of up close whispering or sounds, um, just be mindful of where the microphone is and how far away from it you are. So there's a few basic like types of ASMR videos, right? You have here like forward facing um, videos like this. I like to call them like one on one videos. And that could be um, vlog style, kind of like I'm doing here where I'm just talking to the camera. But they could also be like sounds videos. So if I were to be grabbing something, making sounds, um, kind of like uh, a lot of people do these. Like Heather does, Heather Feather does like sound collection videos of, of this sort. Um, a lot of um, Ashley's uh, what was she, Whisper Unicorn, <laughs> she, her videos are a lot um, like forward facing ones too. Um, lots of people do them like that. You could also do like a face down videos, so like facing your hands with no no face visible, and that's good for like instructive videos. And I'll show you a little bit of that. Um, and then there's different kind of broad categories. So you have like your role play videos, um, tapping, scratching, those kind of noises videos, um, your instructional videos, um, ones that have just sound and no voice like show and tell videos, crinkling videos, lots of different types. So I'll show you just a few examples, but overall, like I'd say, um, it's really important to kind of just start with what you have and start with what you know. So before you jump into a role play or um, even just like an instructional video or something like that, think about what you bring to the table already. You know, are you an expert in anything? What do you do for a job? Maybe you're um, work in some, you know, a job that has like certain, um, uh, equipment that you could show off or maybe um, you work in the medical field or you work in customer service or something like that and you could do a role play related to what it is that you already do for me I started off I think my first role play was a uh, was like a mixed martial arts hand wrapping role play because I knew how to do that from training 
and I do a lot of videos that um, have to do with things that I already know. And for me, I think that um, kind of goes a long way in seeming authentic and, and kind of flowing much better than if I were to try to research something and, and figure it out for myself. Um, so that's the idea. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this camera um, at a farther, like a wider angle, and I'll show you how I actually interact with the iPhone to make some of these videos. Okay? Okay. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to show you how I would make like a close-up whispering video with some sort of uh, interactive like hands element. So a good example of this was the Pogs video that I just did. Um, also, I've done a lot of kind of like writing videos that are similar to this. Um, so one thing to keep in mind is that I'm going to be using my phone for this one, and I'm going to be doing it so it's um, facing this way. So I'm looking actually through the view here, pointing outwards towards it. So the thing to remember is that the microphone is close to the lens in this one. So when I'm close up whispering, I'm going to be real close to it like this. Now luckily the iPhone has a really nice um, kind of compression built into it for the sound. So if I'm um, coming close to it, I don't have to worry too much about making harsh sounds because it automatically compresses it. But for other cases, like if I were to come really close to this mic and make a bunch of pee noises, so if I said puppies, purple puppies, There'd be a lot of plosives, a lot of uh, popping sounds uh, that might kind of clip it. But with the iPhone and a lot of other smartphones, you don't really have to worry about that. So let me refocus this and make sure we're uh, all set up and I'll get set up for this shot. Okay, so I'm going to get my tripod and set it up on the left hand side here. to be low enough that I can use it and be looking through it at the same time. So now I'll do an example of um, one video that I might do. So what I'm going to do today is show you my Rubik's Cube. This is a Rubik's Cube that I got in college, my roommate and I were very competitive with each other, and we had a period of time where we would try to see who could master more useless skills, and Rubik's Cube was one of those, along with cup stacking and various other pointless skills.
this one because um, it'll take a while, but that's the general idea. Okay, um, for this one I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one style video where I'm doing a role play. So role plays are very popular in the ASMR community. Um, and so I'm going to do a kind of just a really basic medical role play where the premise is that you fell and hit your head and I'm checking you out and giving, you know, some brief whatever. Um, I'm going to be using a couple of props in this one. So I'll be using a notebook here to, you know, write some fake notes. I'm also going to be using something that I use. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of scalp massage, which is a really popular kind of subgenre of ASMR video. But that's done a lot of different ways, and the way that I do it is I use a sponge for that kind of sound. So I'll show you how I do that as well. Um, so I'm going to set up my tripod so it's facing me, and I'm going to be using the forward-facing camera this time so that I can see what I'm doing as I'm doing it into the camera. So I'm looking at myself, and I can actually kind of look into the, the eyes of the person who's in the other side of the roleplay. So I'll do that. Hey there, thanks for coming in. So, I understand that um, you had a fall recently, um, and you uh, had some, some head problems. You, you hit your head on something. Um, can you remind me before you get into that, um, what was your name again? Hmm. And um, where did you hit your head exactly? Was it, um, Dr., um, which, who, who referred you? Dr. Johnson, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's great. So just tell me briefly, um, how you fell and hit your head and, and kind of what the, what the circumstances that were. Mm-hmm. So what I'm going to do with you is just um, some very, very brief screening measures, um, and then I'll give this information to my colleagues, and um, they can decide whether you need to see a specialist or any other, um, you know, intervention needs to occur. Okay, so the first thing I need you to do is just, um, I'm going to hold this pen up, and I just want you to keep your head still, but follow the pen with your eyes, okay? following it. Good. Do you wear glasses of any type or contact lenses? No? Okay, great. Um, so, the next thing that I would like to do, if you don't mind, is um, I'm going to come a little bit closer and feel around on your head to see if there's any noticeable damage, if I can tell exactly kind of where you were hit, which will help clarify exactly kind of what structures might be at risk here. Would you mind if I came a little closer and did that? I'll be feeling around with my fingers into your, into your scalp, so don't mind if it's, uh, if you have a little tingling sensation or something like that. It's totally normal. That's okay? Okay, great. So, just let me know. As I scratch here, if you feel any 
discomfort or any strange sensations, any pain. There? Okay. Does it hurt if I press into it like that? Okay. What if I just lightly grace the surface a little bit? Out of curiosity, when you when you hit the back of your head, um, did you see any stars or anything like that? Do you do did you lose consciousness? Did anybody have to wake you up, or did you kind of forget what happened right right beforehand? Okay, let me just jot a few notes down, and then um, I think I think that's all we need. You'll be free to go. Okay, so now I'm going to. Um, Example of a video that has no speaking, no whispering, just sounds. Um, and for these videos, you can really use anything, really, for these tapping, scratching, um, kind of like manipulating videos. You can use anything. So I just kind of looked around to see what I had around me, and I found this Easter basket. So I'm going to go through this, um, and I'm going to use some of the sounds and just try to make some cool sounds with it. I'm going to use a different perspective for this one, so I'm actually going to point the camera, um, my phone, down at me. And I'm going to use the forward-facing camera again so I can see what I'm doing. But it doesn't really matter too much if my face is in it, um, just kind of the whole picture so I can use the sounds and kind of um, do it to the camera. So, let's do that.
so that's it guys um, thank you so much for watching um, if this is your um, first time ever trying to make an ASMR video and you decide to use some of these techniques or any of the tips that I gave you to make your first video I highly encourage you um, feel free to submit that that first video as a video response to this video and I'd be happy to keep it here so you guys can check out other people's first videos by clicking the links in the bottom um, if you guys have any other questions or comments or anything like that about making ASMR videos, ASMR in general, anything like that, please feel free to comment, shoot me a private message, whatever. Um, this is definitely a dialogue, and I hope to see a lot of really awesome stuff from you guys. Um, it's been a really big year for ASMR, and I think, you know, um, things are only going to get bigger from here, so I'm, I'm really happy that all of you guys are here, and if you're already a content creator and you're just watching this just because, um, keep making great stuff because you guys are awesome as much as I love putting out videos my heart is always with watching videos and you guys have helped me through a ton so really appreciate the videos that you guys make and if you guys are a subscriber you don't make videos you don't want to make videos totally cool too I really 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 appreciate you guys um, your comments mean the world to me and um, happy ASMR day I guess <laughs> so until next time guys see you later